Hello and welcome to the instructor's introduction video for Color in Photography Learning Unit. So I put together some pretty cool information about color in photography and filmmaking as well. So of course you're going to want to watch this two minute video and read all of the things that I've gathered and written for you. This is my um, instructor's lecture on color in photography and a PDF if you want to download this to go over the information that I cover in the lecture at a slower pace or to reflect back on this information when it comes to doing the homework for this week's learning unit. To me, one of the ways that um, I really enjoy the use of color is through how color and emotions in movies have such a big impact on our emotional effects from how the director or the filmmaker is manipulating the colors to work with the, the psychology of color, which has been studied for a couple hundred years. And so I've gathered a couple of videos that um, I think are really interesting and, and fun and thoughtful to think about and will be inspiring when you go to think about what kind of photographs you're going to make for the creative portion of this week's learning unit. Of course, I included um, a great video about Wes Anderson's use of color because he's one of my favorite filmmakers and his use of color is so unique. So definitely think about, for me, when it comes to movies, it's not only the color that affects our emotions, but also the soundtrack. Those color and the soundtrack can really have a big impact on our experience when we're watching films. So check out these things I've collected for you. And then basically, um, I have focused on five artists that all use color. And uh, one of your homework requirements for this learning unit will be to reflect on one of these five artists. So I went ahead and put together information to give you a, a start, a good foundation to decide which photographer you want to further research. So we've got Pete Turner who does a lot of really beautiful, intense colors. We have Melanie Poland, who does some really interesting kind of fashion murder scene photography. So there's her website and along with a couple of videos to learn more about her creative process. Martin Parr, a British photographer, who uses a lot of visual irony in his photographs. So here's a link to his website, a couple of videos that talk about his work. And then there's a pretty cool, Magnum has put together these quarantine conversations. So um, you can go to the Magnum website and see other photographers if you choose to. This is the conversation between Martin Parr and David Allen Harvey. So you might want to check that out. Joyce Tennyson is another photographer to choose from. She mostly works with painting on black and white photographs. So again, like a different creative process with really unique end results. So a couple of videos about her work. And then Miguel Rigo Branco, who is a, a Brazilian photographer who also uses color in a very unique and distinctive way. So there's a six minute interview where he talks about his creative process. And then this is a video, um, which is a lot of his images. And he's also one of the photographers that's um, represented by Magnum pho Photography. These are other color photographers. Um, if you wanted to use one of these instead of one of those five, um, they're all really lovely people to research and learn more about. So I've just included information about their work. And then these are all the different artists that I've mentioned in this learning unit. And this will be really helpful for future projects, and then also just to have all of the links and the photographer's work condensed into one page. So check out lots of great links. More helpful links. Um, so there's, there's a bunch of articles to learn more about color theory in photography um, and a couple of videos as well. So the first assignment is um, Color and Photography, Reflective Thoughts. So you're going to want to watch this five minute video where I go over the homework requirements. Um, and like I said, you're going to be picking from one of these five photographers that I've included in the learning unit content. 
And then finally, the creative portion of this homework assignment, um, there's a three minute video where I go over all the details, but basically you're gonna be making two photographs that explore the use of color. And you're also going to submit a lighting setup because I think something that I want you guys to start thinking more about is how you're responding to the quality of light and how the quality of light impacts your photographs. So I've included a bunch of questions and prompts that you're going to want to navigate. So you'll want to watch this video, read all this information, um, respond to these prompts, and then respond to two of your classmates' posts referencing the prompts that I've included here. So I hope you enjoy this learning unit and keep me posted if you have any questions. Thank you so much for listening.